H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Welcome to this session of H2K Infosys. So, thanks for watching this particular video. So, today we are going to see the uh, Java uh, language as a whole and we are going to see what is Java all about and what are the features of Java. So, from today's, uh, we are going to start about the core Java concepts. So, before we start the, the concepts on a Java language, we are going to first see uh, the the language as a whole, what is this language all about and what are the features of this particular language which has made it so much popular. In the last uh, two sessions, uh, we have gone through the course details and we have gone through the history of Selenium as a whole. And let us move forward with the other aspects of our course. And that's precisely today we are going to see what is Java and then discuss about what are the different features of Java. So let's roll. So what's Java? We have a lot of questions in our mind. We have a lot of innovations. Uh, we have uh, preconceptions or there's some con concept we already have in, into our, in, our, in our mind. So we'll see what is Java all about. So there are certain features or other certain main points of Java. It's a open source language. It's a programming language uh, and a computing platform which was released by Sun Microsystems in 1995. Apparently, the latest version of uh, Java is 1.8 and uh, the co uh, core company which made Java, that is Sun Microsystems, was taken over by Oracle a couple of years back. So right now it's Oracle Java. Uh, the, the language as a whole, the Java language was made from C++. C++ uh, is an object-oriented programming language which uses a lot of pointers and other uh, other features uh, which are not of this particular features. Some features are present in Java. Some features are actually we have been removed. Uh, so it enforces the object-oriented programming concepts as we have in C++ programming. Uh, Java can be used for very simple applications uh, and it can be also used to create very complex applications like your banking applications or finance based applications or insurance based applications. You can create simple applications to work in a single environment or a single machine rather or create uh, complex applications to be uh, worked upon in a distributed architecture. The distributed architecture would consist of servers and clients in a network and we can run Java programs in all these kind of environments. Coming back to the fourth point, it basically has a sm small concept which is nothing but the concept of applets. Applets are nothing but small application modules uh, which are part of uh, web applications or web pages. These applets would make a web page dynamic so this is uh, because of applets which makes our web pages dynamic into nature interactive into nature so that's all about a small uh, write-up on Java going forward we'll see certain features of Java the first feature which comes into the mind is that it's a simple language it's a simple language because it uses the same syntax as we have in C++. The other features uh, which are part of your Java is it's secure and that is why a lot of companies do still use it, specifically companies which are into your BFSI domain or in your travel and leisure domain still do use Java because it is highly secure into nature. It's dynamic because of the fact that there's a lot of dynamicity maintained to manipulate codes and to create codes. And it's a, since it's an object-oriented programming language, it can be used for high-performance applications and for 
<coughs> excuse me greater memory management it's highly it's highly inter interpreted and distributed language which is portable into nature so portable into nature because of the fact that you can create the code in a particular platform let's say in windows platform and port the same code over other platforms the important fact is that java uses the concept of byte coding we have something known as java virtual machines in which a compiler is present the compiler actually transforms transforms a source code to a byte code and this byte code is responsible for making the java language as a portable language or a platform independent language so let, let's look certain features of java first feature is a simple uh, simply uh, simplicity of the language it uses the same syntax as c++ so people who know c++ will uh, look at it uh, with very soft eyes uh, no need to remove any unreferenced objects so we have the concept of object oriented programming in java so these object needs to be referenced uh, with uh, with datas with with methods and with variables properly and these references are required to secure the codes certain objects are not initialized and they are called as unreferenced objects and these kind of unreferenced object creates memory leaks which actually affects the performance of the codes or the performance of the application so since java has automatic garbage collections these garbage collection actually automatically take care of these memory leaks so that the performance of the application is not compromised next part it, it basically removes any confusion or many confusing features of c++ like your explicit pointers and operator overloading these were actually removed from java because it was a complex behavior to use pointers and operator overloading in c++ to make this language simpler these features were removed in the java language going forward it's object oriented programming language and because it is object oriented programming language the memory management is better uh, the the let us look at the points which are part of the object oriented program um, point um, method so methodology that simplifies software development and maintenance by providing some some rules so any any language or any programming language which uses the concept of object oriented programming uh, the usage of the language becomes easier because uh, the codes can be created using simple rules defined in the object oriented programming because of the object oriented uh, oriented programming the coding structure is easy the memory management is easy the next aspect of our object oriented is that organizes our software as a combination of different types of objects that incorporates both data and behavior and because of the object oriented programming concept present in java language the codes are secure the data are secure and the modules present or the modules developed using java language become secure next part what do we need to understand as far as oops is concerned so if we will basically understand what is oops oops are nothing but the concept of objects so objects are nothing but entities so any entity will have class and properties and the properties can be nothing but your methods or variables this is a simple concept of object oriented programming so in terms of object oriented programming what we need to know is what are objects what are classes what is the concept of inheritance what is the concept of interfacing or interfaces what's polymorphism what's ab abstraction encapsulation so we're going to look at this at a later point of time so let's understand this that this is what we need to un we need to actually learn as far as oops concept is concerned 